Thanks for joining me in my video today. Today I will be talking about owning an EV in the summer. And where else to better demonstrate this? Well, in Arizona, of course. So what's so special about driving an EV in the summer? Nothing really. It obviously still works like any other car, but it's interesting to understand how an EV can cool its battery in high temperatures. It's also interesting to understand how the battery works in very cold temperatures. But I can't really show you that now in the summer. Maybe in another video. Okay, let's start this off on a mini adventure out of the city, then I'll go into the technical stuff of how batteries in the heat work. Okay, let's go. So Phoenix, Arizona is located southwest of the U.S. for those that haven't visited this Grand Canyon state. During the summer, the temperatures can hit 120 degrees Fahrenheit, and the recorded highest temperature was 122 degrees Fahrenheit on June 26, 1990. Yeah, so basically you can fry an egg on the asphalt some days, but don't let this scare you though. Phoenix has perfect temperatures in the winter and spring, and the sunsets are breathtaking. So the current temperature outside right now is around 98 degrees, and I found a free charger, and I'm going to charge up, and right now the car is at 86 miles. I'm just going to walk around for a little bit, and let the car charge, and then I'll check back with you in a little bit. when um, if you're if you're driving or if you're just leaving it to charge and um, you don't even turn on the AC on the car will itself turn on the cooling fans um, to cool down okay time to unplug and go back home it is hot outside fun fact EVs are known for being so quiet that there have been concerns of the car accidentally injuring someone who is not paying attention or more importantly, those who are hard of hearing. These problems are addressed with the quiet car rules, but in the summer, you don't have to worry about that because the fans can get rather loud. There are many different types of cooling systems. The most basic is used by the Nissan LEAF, which has an air-cooled battery. Early Nissan LEAFs were plagued with battery issues because of the simplicity of the system. It didn't do the best job at cooling or heating the battery, which resulted in a slightly advanced battery degradation. This issue has been mitigated with updated battery chemistry, but it is still air-cooled. The Chevy Bolt, Audi e-tron, Porsche Taycan, Tesla, and many other cars use a different approach with an active cooling and heating system and their batteries. This allows them to manage the environment that the batteries are in. Lithium-ion batteries have advantages and disadvantages in different temperatures. A hot battery has better performance with charging and power output due to lower resistance. However, Sustained use at high temperatures can accelerate the degradation of the battery. For example, when you're going to do a DC fast charge, you'll get better performance if your battery is hot. Tesla will actually precondition the battery by making it warmer as you get close to the charger. After you DC fast charge, it's important to get your batteries down to a cooler temperature, so you'll likely hear the fans kick in after or sometimes during a charge. You can see this happening in my video titled 
What are the charging costs of an EV on a road trip? When I visited the version 3 supercharger in Las Vegas. Hot batteries help with performance cars too. The performance Model S needs to preheat the battery pack in order to do ludicrous sprints. Cold batteries have very good long-term longevity. You might have slightly degraded performance in cooler climates, but your battery will have longer lifetime longevity. The advantage of having thermally managed battery is you can control all the environmental factors. You can make them hot when you want and cold when you want. Tesla and many other manufacturers use a battery thermal management method of cooling by the circulation of water-based coolant through cooling passages within the battery structure. The cooling system uses a serpentine cooling pipe that winds through the battery pack and carries a flow of water glycol coolant. In warmer cities or towns, it's recommended to have your battery charge lower than usual to extend the long-term longevity of the battery. It's not something that's required, but it can help keep your battery stress level low in the heat. Driving an EV in the summer is great. Some even have extra features to keep the inside of your car cool. The Tesla specifically has dog mode and cabin overheat protection settings and remote control of the air conditioning. Hi Kaya. Are you nice and cool in there? I hope this video gave you more insight into EVs. And if you live in an area that has warmer temperatures and have a pet, I'd recommend the Tesla just because of that dog mode feature. Now it's time for my segment where Kaya helps me review toy cars. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Tesla Model S. So let's go on their website and see what information they have on it. Um, Kaya, you're in my shop there. So online, um, they have two options. Um, before the potential savings. So a long range plus Model S, um, which has a 391 mile range and 155 miles per hour top speed and 3.7 seconds zero, per, zero to 60 miles per hour. Now that is quick. Um, so the price starts at $79,990. And you can add um, full self-driving for $7,000 and that's of today as of May 21st because I know prices fluctuate with Tesla. All right, and then the second option they have is the Model S Performance, which starts at $99,990. This has a 348 mile range, 163 miles per hour top speed, and 0 0.60 is 2.3 seconds. I want that car. <laughs> Maybe one day. Goals. And of course, you can add full self driving for $7,000. And all of these um, cars have exterior and interior um, options, different colors, and different um, interior options. So let's open this. Kaya, are you going to help me? Ooh, this one was an easy open. Look at that. I really like this color. Let's see. I don't I don't believe this exact blue is the one that they have, but let's see what colors they have. They have pearl white, solid black, midnight silver metallic, deep blue metallic, and ooh, the pretty red, which is the red multi-coat. So Kaya, what do you think about the Model S? Do you like it? Kaya also likes this car. It's approved. Thanks for spending time with me today again. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Kaya's Tesla. I also set up a new email if you want to reach out to me at info at Thanks and happy charging.